as you all find yourselves coming back into the province, you see Teller Keep just off in the distance, not far away. The usual border guard active. The ride from Karbazra was quiet. There was a great deal of foot traffic and horse traffic coming to and from the Narion Bridge to what you assume is either Palamon or Os <coughs> Osrin Pass. As you pass the Trident Farmlands, you note that it is active as ever, with many of their wagons coming down to Nautis, with things slowly resuming to normal. All in all, things seemed generally peaceful, with nothing out of the ordinary taking place. And as the morning light starts heading towards an afternoon crest, you find yourselves riding back home. Your cards are up. Good morning. Can you search, sir? Mm. Morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Lady knows all this. Mm. Oh. Forgive me. I did not realize we were in the presence of such uh, company. Um, <clears throat> please. <clears throat> Go on through. Thank you. Sorry. That's the... <clears throat> <clears throat> I was about to say, that's the best that has ever gone for me. We can go back if you want. No, oh, I'm quite fine, thank you. Seems to be a flame, so that's good news. Nothing yet. Let's see if we see the city first. <clears throat> we have been gone for a full no, day, Tiberius. <laughs> I bet you a silver that something really terrible happened while we were gone. Mm, I'll bet you a silver someone did something very stupid. <clears throat> But you want free money, is that what you're asking for? <laughs> you can just ask for money, Tiberius. You don't need to play a game with me. <clears throat> that seems incredibly rude to do. Smoke up ahead. It seems I spoke far too soon. Great job, Tiberius. Uh, smoke ahead. <clears throat> Let's ride up ahead, Tiberius. Imperials. Weapons are drawn. How many orcs was that that time? Five? Riding a little bit forward, you can see 
a few stacks of orc bodies on the left and right of the road. The smell of night killer powder is still strong in the air. Good show, gentlemen. Well, of all the things to be burning. Dead orc is a good orc, I suppose. Having them be this yeah. close to the road, though. <clears throat> yes. I'll have to arrange that mission to the refugee camp sometime soon. I don't really want to leave them out there alone for too long. Maybe tomorrow when I'm not so tired. Agreed. I'd bring you, um, a few of the boys from the guards, Stefano, maybe. <clears throat> and probably a surgeon or two, in case they have wounded. Ideally a cart as well, but logistics, we can handle that later. <clears throat> Yeah, I was kind of hoping to bring the initial group, but you're right, they'll probably all want to come home. This is going to be a bigger operation than I thought. Not to mention personal belongings. <clears throat> Do you think they would have any? Well, they'd be carrying everything they can have on their back. If they don't have anything, then they are, well... <clears throat> okay. He's a courier, he's fast. Something important to say. <laughs> Lord Erhard, the city's burnt down in your absence. Now you're drinking. Somehow it's still your fault. <laughs> <clears throat> How could the Marshal and his son not be present? <laughs> yes. The Marshal and his son are the ones doing diplomacy. Marcus's horse or Jensen's horse. I don't know if there'll be room. Try to make some arrangements in the keep of the guards. I'd like you to be with us as well. Yes. 
that's the impostor and the um, Let's be an example and not fall behind schedule, so gotten. I need this embassy up and running, not lackluster. Imp business. For as uppity as they are, they are fucking barbaric. Back to the front. What I am underneath. I was there. I was worried about that count by the time they're up. I wish I could say it was good to be back. Oh, it's not on fire. Give it to the end of the day. <laughs> Generous of you, my lady. Take it to her. I'm getting off the damn thing. <laughs> Come on, Dredge, get off! Mm. I need to turn a damn thing around. All in one piece, I hope. Mostly. <clears throat> we didn't miss anything important, did we? Mostly. Well, depends. Are you missing anything important? You did say mostly one piece. <clears throat> I don't think mm, we need an additional that's... babysitter past here. Enjoy the rest of your day, my lady. Indeed. Thank you for the escort. Grazie. Hey, I, uh, don't see the Lord I with you. Really up Wrapping up some business. We'll be back soon. <laughs> what? Like... Wrapping up business or wrapping up business? Like literally wrapping up business. Okay, so wrapping yes, up business. Like the word stay. Yes. <laughs> okay, because the union sometimes people mean other th things. You know? He's it's like, um, taking care of business. Stepping out. He's taking care of business, exactly. He's gone to uh, trim the flowers outside the castle walls. You know, it, it, it can mean Let's give these two a rest. Good to see you again. Alright. Good morning, merchants. Got the more ping. Ah, no, it's a <sighs> okay. 
<clears throat> oh, shot blows mine. There's no motion. <sighs> Maybe I'll back. There's probably some room out back. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, <sighs> Please don't disappear. Good boy. Take a rest, buddy. You've earned it. Oh, God. <clears throat> ow, 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 ow. <sighs> this must be how the bathhouse workers oh. feel. Oh, I heard that one. God. Okay. Hopefully my gifts don't have my head taken off by the end of the day. Gifts. Cast of ale that's local to the region, and a little extra <clears throat> something else. Sure. Remind me, is um, Kabarza past Palamon, or is it before it? Uh, that is an excellent question. I uh -huh. don't think it is. Because <clears throat> I thought we were neighboring the Vapex. And Palamon being the Center of the Hex and Kabazra being its own I don't believe area. <clears throat> That's like an overly complicated question I can't answer off the top of my head. <clears throat> right. hmm. Okay. Plans for today? I would leave that as a note. <clears throat> oh. Food. Proper warm meal for the both of us. Tavern. For starters. Yeah, I've had enough of fucking hard time. Tavern. Tech. We didn't even... Uh, let me get this down. I didn't even eat when we were there, actually. Now that I think about it. No, we didn't. We had... <clears throat> I had a carrot and some cheese. I didn't even have that. This is day two of not eating. I, I know, I just... <clears throat> God, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Catch up on what we missed. <clears throat> You are very modular. Oh, let's go. It's quite useful, actually. Yeah. Shall we? By my estimation, two days to get there, and if any were. That's right. I had a handful of crackers. Before all three of you. First thing, see, I, what do I first thing I hear when I step out of what? the front door is, <laughs> have you hunted a shark before? Oh, God. <clears throat> I hope they're not riding out to where I think Hello they are. There, noble sir. Morning. <sighs> Tiberius, if I asked you to hmm, chase them yeah, down, would you hate me? Might be too late. <clears throat> I could still chase them down, my lord. I'll do it. Tell me to. I'll do it. If you can oh, get yeah. to them. Do it right now. My sights are taking me to other places. Yeah. Morian asked when they were going to start charging every kill for orcs. You mentioned it at one point. At some point, I'm going to want to see if you can't put this spearhead. He's holding the. Broken upper half. Sotar guide me, holy hell. Morning, Lord Erdhart. Hmm. Lost him. Already down the hill in the time I got to the top. That's fine, I was going to escort them to where they were going, but. <clears throat> if they get attacked by orcs, that's, I guess, up to them. Honestly. 
Our services, I feel, my lord, were ending the time we gone back to the city, if I... Yeah. Perfectly honest. Great news, the tavern looks empty, so... Oh, perfect. Yeah. Why do we even have one of those? Probably there's somebody. I guess we're going around the market then to find some food. Can you cook? Get that spice on it. A little bit. Yep, empty. <sighs> okay. Markets it is. Market is empty. Okay. <laughs> Are you interested in making a is that the one? sum of silver to go and fight somewhere potentially terrible? Yeah. Mm. How far away? You want me to leave you two to reconnect? Uh, oh goodness. And how do I get food first and that bad thing? It's pretty just so I don't have my head taken off. Pretty good. Sorry, I'll keep you in mind. I'll keep you in mind. Morning, Dredge. Morning, Dredge. <clears throat> are you are you that dread fellow <laughs> yeah. I think he sells food here my lord oh yes I heard about your winnings well fuck all the other stalls are empty. Just back from well, we have, might have some food within the house, my lord. Very I did well. stack up quite a bit of supplies yes, before. Three days. To town to town. <clears throat> Congratulations, sir. I'm not much of a I kind of hope to get, get out of this arm, my know. finger but on the pulse of the you. town, but... I'm glad to you. I suppose we could fish our food. Can you fish? Have you fished before? Are you a fisherman? I have not. I've never fished in a day of my life. <laughs> I have once. I've been on a boat once, and that, and that was with you. Let me get out of this on. No offense, my lord. Three, three days. It's too much. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's take a minute, eat some food, recuperate, and then we'll uh, see what we missed out on. <sighs> this feels so much better. Oh. Tiberius, we have to fight orcs now. Come on. <laughs> and thus, the, the, the night was broken. <laughs> the night of the dark was shattered. Let's see. Some stale bread, some cheese, a carrot or two. Uh, we have got a few carrots, a couple <clears throat> of onions. <clears throat> we try to put together a small stew. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're probably better at this than I am. I use way too much salt, apparently. Yes, right. You away from the salt and the spices. Okay, so like a small amount, right? Mm -hmm. We've been over this. Yeah, but like when people say just just a little bit of anything, a handful is usually like a tiny amount. But with salt, no. Well, <clears throat> it's more it's more of a pinch you're looking for. Right. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Nope. Like the pinch seems like such a uh, strange unit of measurement. Like people's hands, like a a dredge pinch. Next to like a hopper pinch, you know. <laughs> a dredge pinch versus a. You really made that analogy, really. <clears throat> what? They have different sized hands and different right. sized yeah. fingers. I would assume they have different pinch size, surface area of pinches and whatnot. I know you're at least decent with a knife. I've seen how <clears throat> you use it. Stop chopping up some of the vegetables and skinning them. <laughs> Makes you think I'm good with a knife. <laughs> You constantly have them on your back, for one. Oh! Skin them first! Skin them first! Quick! No. 
Apparently it's good for uh, protein. Right. Uh, some water. <clears throat> I took a chunk out of my hand cutting up a carrot once. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we all saw <clears throat> from somewhere. I went to the surgeon and it didn't stop bleeding for like five hours. <laughs> oh, you were still alive. What? What the fuck? What are you cooking? Don't worry about it. It's just, it's just, it's just the paprika. <laughs> what? How, yo, a, how, how spicy punch. is your stew? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little. Exactly. I call, I call it the bang. <laughs> right. Well, here's your veggies. Perfect. Go ahead and put them in the pot. Alright, cut me up an onion, and then we'll be pretty much all set for that. <clears throat> an onion. Listen. Alright. <clears throat> yes. While I work on... Cutting up a potato. <laughs> My lord, just don't... Just be careful not to... Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you have it, my lord. <laughs> You're doing great, my lord. Just make sure not to rub your eyes. Just don't rub Why? your eyes. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm legally blind. I'm so sorry. You can't. You can't do that. You can't wipe, wipe your eyes. It'll just make it worse. DM note: If you are in town, you hear a distant boom near the port. Um. Well, that sounds like something. Uh, we should probably check that out. <clears throat> there we are, my lord. I'll be right behind you. Stupid fucking onions. Get the guards, get the buckets. Immediately. Pop carries on fire. Buckets? The apothecary? Ooh, what's on fire? Why is the apothecary oh, on fire? If that's on fire, I'm not getting close to that. <sighs> Oh, fuck. Buckets. What the fuck? This is on fire or on fire? Looks like it. Thankfully, it's right near the well. <clears throat> is, it, <laughs> is there anyone inside? Is, is O'Shawn alright? Is the door unlocked? Oh. It's barred from the inside. Understood. Barred. Is the well, upstairs uh, unlocked? I don't know. This is that. unfortunate. <clears throat> right. I, mean, I technically have a key. Uh, right. Is the upstairs unlocked, DM? So, you two are going to start arguing here and now. Go someplace else and get the guards. Let them know that they need to get a fire team out here. Fire brigade should be coming out shortly. All right, we're doing our best with the pockets. Right, we'll assist whoever's inside. Bring yes. them out and we'll take care of them. Front door seems locked. Yeah, uh, Dredge is trying to go in through the top. Start, start setting up a train. 
I'm gonna go All right, one more down. See what we need to get inside. I'm going to Where do you want me to? I'll just start leaves. setting him here we'll for trouble. The chain well, from the from the well itself. Out. We just you know. Wait. All right. George is trying to get to the. There we go. Here, fresh water. Right here. People coming out. Surgeons. Let me let me start going for the well. Kill me. Ah. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Come on. Come on now. Where's the fire? No fire. It's not a fire. It's a chemical explosion. It's a design. I intended it for that to happen. It was supposed to be that way. What? Wait, wait. What's the about no fire? You as well. Ludwig, no way. A chemical smoke when you see it. Some sort of alkaline mistake. No fire. Uh, sh should we not be standing here, O'Shawn? Are you okay? Probably not. I mean, if that's a bunch of chemicals, don't you think those might be... me? Get back from the building just in case. You shouldn't be breathing it in anyway. Please get back. No fire. Please get back. No, no, fire. no fire, it's okay. Do not breathe. Can you read it? Oh. <coughs> Let's water then. Sergeant, get everyone back as they were, please. Let's be a final one. Let's see if we can check it later. Something like a hundred end. He seems in one piece. That's all that matters. There, come on. <laughs> this close. This close to a fire. And that would have. We couldn't have called it any better writing in. We really couldn't. God. I, I, I never expected it to happen, to be honest. Morning, uh. Lady Hardiman. Morning. Thank God, that out of, out of the, the, the way <coughs> at this point. Ugh. Tiberius. Yes, my lord. Did you take the stew off the stove? Ah, oh, shit! Oh, fuck. It's gonna be fucking burnt. Nope! We're good! Oh, we're he good. saved it. We're good! <laughs> it's because it still took time for it to boil. If I, if I was gonna eat burnt fucking stew, I was going to actually. I will end the Erhard line. I'm, I'm, I'm tapping out. I'm done. <laughs> <clears throat> well, get to the table, my lord, and get some bowls and some. Why not we spoil ourselves and have wine in the morning? <laughs> Considering we've been riding for most of the night. You're day drinker already. Sure. <clears throat> day drinker is such a rude term. I'd. Say, uh, opportunist. <laughs> opportunist drinker. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I even used some of my extra spices I had. Oh. So I'm sure I have a nice punch. You're spoiling me. You get the nice, nice red. <clears throat> mm, yes, perfect. It just says red on it. There's no. How cheap are you? Uh, that is not me. I do not buy cheap wine. <laughs> it looks fucking cheap. I don't know who bought this. <sighs> Maybe it was a gift. You know when you have like those. People over for dinner, and they bring wine, but it's like a. I, I have you know, a feeling it would most likely be someone we've had over bringing wine continuously. I swear. Yeah, it's a five copper we bottle of wine. Or not, but <clears throat> here we are. Oh god. You know, it doesn't look are. half bad. All things considered, it's definitely better than hard tuck. 
It's, oh, much better than hard tack, guaranteed. It's actually warm. <clears throat> right. <sighs> Trust me, when you have to run around for 20 years, you learn to cook very quickly <clears throat> to avoid hard tack. <laughs> One of my first nights that I met from Gwyn, <clears throat> Sir Gregor, a ranger. <clears throat> he can make anything taste good out of just random leaves around. It was amazing. Oh. Now that is a talent I would need to see. Glad you can find anything around. <clears throat> we went fishing. What job decent greedy. Went fishing, got a fish. He ate the eyeball, made me eat the other eyeball. <clears throat> Said it was good for you. And then cooked the fish and then went off and started grabbing handfuls of grass and flowers and started like rubbing them on the fish. And it was the best fish I've ever eaten in my entire life. And I lived in Coracatus. Like, I, I don't understand. <clears throat> that sounds peculiar. I'm surprised you weren't poisoned, <coughs> if I'm going to be honest. I, I had a fellow who tried to do that once, and his bowels were just plastered all over the side of a tree. Uh-huh. Gross. It was, hor it was a horrid sight. The man could not ride his horse for three days. We had to leave him at a farmstead. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I believe his name was Sir Go Gonnery. Oh, really? Yes, poor Sir Connery. He was so... <laughs> Is that Astagonian? Oh. But he soon got married. Oh, yeah? Uh, it actually is. <clears throat> Mr. Ah. And Mrs. Gonnery. Yes. Actually, I believe he took his wife's name after that. Oh, really? That's progressive. Hmm, yes. He wanted to change a pace away from his family lineage. He was the fourth son, after all. Uh, was that military? <clears throat> or is that to the... Uh, First is the air. Mostly military. Second is... More... Uh, mm. uh, isn't they, aren't they a priest? How does that work? It generally depends on your station. <clears throat> so, mostly it's... Brothers are start off as more scribes more than anything else, transcribing text. <clears throat> Some are sanctioned off to uh, possibly... You become, uh, sort of, uh, your version would be, uh, m medics, so to say. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> they also would attend to children of, of the orphanages and whatnot and help teach. Uh, there's also others that are pure military and handle those affairs and security. Mm. There's multiple <clears throat> different sections. Hmm. Do you have any brothers or sisters? By blood? Yes. I wouldn't have no idea, to be honest. I haven't, never knew my parents. <clears throat> I only knew my mum. Uh, uh, that's a fortune many say that they could don't have, especially down under. Could have done without it. She hated me. She thought <clears throat> I was the reason that my dad left. So she blamed me. And hated me. Oh, that's just foolishness. Well. Short-sightedness of humans, I suppose. A child, when they are born in the world, have no control of anything. That's what Mostly I was saying. for nothing. <clears throat> exactly right. It makes me think, if that's a common trend of my father, then I might have brothers and sisters out there, and I would not know. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in these lands, if a man decides to have fun and enjoy himself in his youth, it's hard to tell. The old Grodian slip. Only retracing a man's stuff. <clears throat> Is that what they call it? So, yeah, when, when you're like with someone and then you just kind of like disappear on them. <clears throat> Grodian slip. 
I see. Not Astagon, they we say they went to uh, fetch a new rug. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, this was good. This was much needed. Well, there'll be some more later if we want it. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too spicy, was it? Wasn't too bad. <clears throat> I kind of like a little bit of kick, you know. We were saying, getting those spices aren't easy. Mm. <clears throat> if you do come across, <clears throat> let me know. What are they called? Uh, just assortment of different things. Uh, uh, we have simple salt and peppers, and then we have paprika, like I said, and then we have also... Uh, assortments of sort of a, a mixture of blends, as they call it. They're usually designed by the <clears throat> merchant companies who make them, but you gotta be careful. Uh, certain blends, if you get them wrong, uh, are filth, so they will ruin the whole filth. batch. You sound so up yourself, Tiberius. When <laughs> I mean, they don't <clears throat> blend it correctly, and they actually put dirt in it. Ew, okay. To those who do not Literal train filth, eye. I see. That's Literal <clears throat> filth, yes. I thought you were like, like, I'll have that bottle of wine, and they go, "This wine is filth," you know, something like that. <laughs> no, I actually, dirt. I've seen them. I've seen my comrades buy dirt, and say, "Here are some spices, Tiberius. Please cook us up a lovely stew." This is dirt. How? What am I you wanting <clears throat> to do with dirt? You've been, you have been had your eyes turned <laughs> over, my friend. Go back and get your <clears throat> going back. Something, something improvised, overdapt, come or something, whatever it is. <laughs> Improvise dirt and do a meal. Good luck with that. <clears throat> I <laughs> asked. He was great for, for your muscles. <laughs> I asked you about if you believed in a god, and you kind of gave me a weird answer. <clears throat> kind of a, a left turn into a conversation, well, but I just remembered. Well, if I were to tell you, I'd ask you to keep it between us. To be honest, <clears throat> I do not. Most of it is from secrets within the order. You have to understand. I'm good with secrets. <clears throat> well, the, the the god I worship to is Gulnaldin. Never heard of him. Well, not many would. This is from the deep lands of Astagon, is where the order was established. Multiple other orders also took under his guiding and teachings, but shrewd it in their own manners, of course. <clears throat> but the Azar Templars were the ones who became a more foundation within the kingdom. You see, Gulnardin is the son of magic, so to speak. We believe he is the one that had uh, blessed the lands with him. And it was the people who abused the blessing. So the texts say. Huh, okay. So, um, we know, attempt... You ever, like, talk to him or something? <clears throat> <laughs> Not like that. Mm, okay. I don't have, uh, conversations, so to speak, with the individual. That would be far above my pay grade and more the devotees if they even attempted something of that sort. No, I'm more operated in the, uh, the great libraries, and I also then was moved to the military. Oh. Huh. So, I moved from place to place to prevent, well, travesties that would take place <clears throat> and safeguard. Objects have a dangerous manner to them. Well, you're in the right place. For example, Ireland. I've heard the story what happened with the Green Death, hmm. the archway, how it was used. It is those very things why we try to prevent. I've seen the green death with my own eyes. That land will never recover. Not within my life, or maybe even my next of sons and sons. I never saw the full extent of it. It was horrid. It stretched as far as the eye could see. The very green to the earth turned into a dark plague, black. 
as if life itself had been sucked away. And those horrid creatures that patrolled the areas. Anyone who had dared stepped into it never came out. <clears throat> Do you hear about Karano? I did hear about Karano. No. That was I heard fucked. it from different individuals. Yeah. How it was a magical artifact that had caused it, and unfortunately, it had entered the hands of the Institute. Not a fan. I think you said something along the lines of them trying to study it to use it, whereas your people are more lock it away forever and ever. <clears throat> you have to understand the Institute take these objects and study and try to find a use for them. Yes. For purpose. In a way, they <clears throat> weaponize the very things that should not be held by any man, any individual. That is why it is better to lock them away so Gulnaldin can one day maybe return and do away with these objects that are a threat to the many. These are weapons, in more cases than none. Couldn't agree more. But... Been around so many individuals that are like, I if do... we just understood it, let me... St and I'm like, no, let's put it in a box and throw it in the fucking ocean. <clears throat> That's the exact premise. The concept of wanting to understand it is already a seed that will bred into the darkness in your own heart of wanting to use it. I... I got my hands on one <clears throat> that just... I... We put it in a box and we were going to bury that box in a hole and I was going to take it there so that no one else knew where it was. And when I returned to everyone else, I, I realized I'd put it in my pocket. It's that very notion right yes. there. <clears throat> I'm it's all a dangerous. For... Dangerous. Yes, I'm all for locking him away. I've only seen small bits of magic being used well. Most of it's been detrimental. Magic has its uses, do not get me wrong. There are some good things about it. It is the individuals who use it who can manipulate it. It is like a blade for a knight. A blade can be used to protect and take life. But we, as the Templar Knights, do not dictate that right. We do not have that privilege. Only Gulnaden does. <clears throat> hmm. I see. Every day I learn a little more. <laughs> You'll pry more secrets out of me yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're on the same page. Well, that's why it's... Hmm. <clears throat> that's why it's so important for me to make sure... That I may be able to rebuild the order here. Find willing souls to <laughs> pass the, the lessons on and the teachings on to. <clears throat> Especially if we are planning to make a return trip, so to speak, in those lands. Were my path not already set? <laughs> well, my friend. All of us have duties <clears throat> and responsibilities. If I am able to usher in a small entourage of men, maybe twenty, to take with me to Astagon, maybe I can rally the resistance that's still there, if they're still breathing. There we can divert their forces from both Giwan and Astagon. Or, better yet, we can re-rally Giwan, possibly. Thankfully, the main person leading the offensive against the rebels in Astagon is now here, trying to kill my father, so... <clears throat> Hopefully a bit of breathing Ultimately. room. <clears throat> Those concerns I do have, 
There were all reasons, my lord, I was sent away, as I've stated. There were originally seven of men with me, and hmm? did you hear that? Hmm. Aka, move up to arena. Tapping at the door near ankle height. Raven, maybe. As you come outside, you do indeed <clears throat> see a raven that's hopping around back and forth, tapping at the door. As soon as it sees you, it holds out its leg. You see a small scroll. <sighs> as soon as it's detached, it hops onto your arm expectantly. You open the small <laughs> parchment and read the following. <clears throat> the name at the bottom is the first thing you see before you read the letter itself. It is familiar. Eric Alganto. You vaguely remember this as the main landlord in Cassetto. Your eyes go up to the top of the letter itself. To my lord, Arno Feldhart, I have come to you to report to you as you requested. A majority of the garrisons of both the Write Imperial name, and chat. the Redods <clears throat> have been having issues working together. Yesterday, there was a severe amount of property damage as the two garrisons wound up getting into a brawl. No one was killed, but there was damage at the taverns and on the docks as the two groups decided to get into a fist fight with each other. This has demoralized the people here and also is a bad look for anyone who is against this integration. I figured I would warn you ahead of time, before it was officially on your desk. Respectfully, Eric Alganto. Mm. Trouble in Cosetto. No, I know that look. Mm. <clears throat> Wonder if we should get ahead of this yeah. and go there or not reassure the raven who after has turned his head and had his little beady eye look at you look at the letter he and flaps his wings and yep do we have feed for these mm. guys uh probably could put something together do you have any chunks of carrot left over from the stew i could and some hard tack on me. <clears throat> sure. At least someone can fucking enjoy it. Eat up, little buddy. You see it hungrily stab at his palm. Courage. Pinching, fingers. but also getting the carrots. <clears throat> pinching at the, the skin <clears throat> here and there. At one point, it makes a mistake and goes for the thumb. It's like, yank, yank, trying to pull a worm out of the ground. Nope, yank. Nope. It goes after the last carrot, and swallows it whole, and lets out a, and flaps up, and flies into the sky, satisfied. I miss really Crunchyroll's like bits. Okay, um, the garrisons at Cosetto are kind of at each other's throats, I wonder... Would me going there involving? 
Uh, he could seek out possibly the major. I was thinking that. A unified front. All right. Put your armor back on. We're going to go out to Cassero. All oh, right, my lord. <clears throat> Didn't last long. Uh, a whole what? One hour of armor being off? And I was going to ask you to teach me something else as well. Oh, were you? What was that? I want you to... We mentioned it before. I want you to teach me... Uh, our native language? I guess it's yours, but... Ah. Undercommon. That's the one. <clears throat> as you come downstairs... You realize nobody's really checked in Arn's study for some time other than Crenshaw. I suppose I should put this on his desk. I feel like this leather has molded to my body by now. about right. Oh, right. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> He's just gonna quickly skim through them and put them in order of importance if he can. As you pick up this <clears throat> scroll, you see on the outside of it some sort of strange symbology, a house <clears throat> or something, you're not sure. Do you break the wax seal? Uh, sure. Okay. You break the seal and open the letter, and it reads the following in fine <clears throat> um, elven handwriting. It says the following. Uh, Lord Arnulf Erdhardt, friend of Mirandel Thessalor. My name is Lieutenant Antulin. I'm a member of the Thessalor House Guard and Daylor Silverley's closest confidant. As per the request of Mirandel Thessalor, I am writing to you from the checkpoint to let you know that his lordship has made his way safely to his uncle's land. The trip was uneventful and <clears throat> safe. No one dared stare in the way of his uncle, and things seem to be normal, at least for now. He has sent his regards to both yourself and to what he said was your aspiring son. In time, he says he will attempt to visit. He expects nothing but the best when he returns. Yours in kinship, Lieutenant Antulli. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to start a good news pile. <clears throat> all right, all right. Okay. That's one. All right. <clears throat> As you pull <clears throat> the next scroll, there is another wax seal on this one. It is one that almost looks like bushels of wheat and a dagger through them. You break the seal. To the most esteemed Lord Arno Ferdhart, as a response to your correspondence, I would prefer that yourself and your house representatives do attend the upcoming events at the vineyard itself. A majority of the other nobles will be invited, as what is to take place is more of an artistic venture. Even we need time to get away from the aristocracy and all of the bureaucracy that comes with it. And henceforth, I extend an invitation to you and your family. I hope to see you there. The name at the bottom reads, Castus de Sarkozy. It's going in the bad news pile. <clears throat> Do I even want to ask about that one? 
schmoozing, Tiberius. With people mm, we don't necessarily yes, yes. enjoy being around. You recognize this one easily. This is the Radod seal. <clears throat> Lord Idhart, as you know, I am Espar Gontona, the Lord Chamberlain, Lord Chamberlain to Baron Amem. I received a number of your requests, and it is something that we would have to discuss in private. While I have no problem with some of your ideals and the expansion of village land into the Sabine, this is an undertaking that would require a great deal of resources and silver that the dynasty just does not have. Though, if it was something that perhaps you yourself would be able to fund, more than likely I could get to the Baron of Mem to see reason in expanding the livable area of the province itself, especially if you can make it profitable. We will speak about this more in the future. Yours in regards, the Lord Chamberlain. That was the plan anyway, I suppose. Okay. <clears throat> that went in the good news pile, so that's a start. Yeah. It's kind of what we expected. You pick up the next scroll. This one's different. The material's a lot more roughshod, but the seal on the outside is very angular. It looks like a strange, almost triangular shield with two axes across it. Very dwarven. Hmm. As you open it, Kyler, you see um, a small annotation at the top. It says, as transcribed, as both paid for and requested by the official scribery of Adwick. Your eyes go down the page, <clears throat> and you see that it is a notarized and recovered last will and testament you scan seeing things handed out and given it seems to be not fully filled out at the very top it says henceforth to Kyler Erdhart in terms of Monetary gain, holdings held, fiefdoms earned. At the bottom it is signed by your father. A just in case, you believe. You pick up the next scroll, and it's rather almost easy to open. It doesn't seem to be sealed with any wax. It was tied. You see wispy handwriting, that of a woman, but it is still refined. And it says the following. To Arnulf the Blacksmith. My sincere thanks and extension of gratitude. I had not been aware as to where it was that you and yours had made your way to. It has been quite some time since we have spoke or seen each other, but I have not forgotten the favor that you and your son did for Holbeck years ago. 
I wanted to inform you, as I promised, that things, despite the country's setback, have been far more stable. <clears throat> and a majority of the young men and women signed up for the Guard after these people that you dealt with were driven out. I know there is not much that we can do, but I wanted you and yours to know that you were thought of, and we are grateful. Please extend my regards to your son for his actions here, as they are remembered by the Magistrate. Magister Curlissa, Magister of Holbeck. Who was it? It is Harry. Oh, <clears throat> he's saying he has business with you that is none of mine. <laughs> Little pompous. Send him up. No, oh, quite. That's what. Uh, more than happy to make him wait until you're done. <laughs> Fine. There's only you, what, two more? <clears throat> uh, I think there's another one. It kind of just rolled, though. Oh. <clears throat> was that sure. the one I threw? That was purpose or not? Maybe. Hmm. As you pick up the next scroll, it seems to be old. <clears throat> um, a lot of the parchment is worn, a lot of the ribbons are torn. <clears throat> it looks like this has been sent from place to place to place to place, and only finally seemingly finding its way here. The outside is a scribbled mark tied with rope, or string, I should say, of what looks like some sort of guild. <sighs> to the blacksmith. Of the craftsman district in Adwick. I'm not sure who else to try and get in contact with this metal bucket that's been working in the mines. I have told him time and time again to go out of his way to close up at the right times. Not only that, his big stupid self has broken a majority of my tools and is too broke to pay recompense. The guards don't want to apprehend him because they can't put them in a cell. So I turn to you, since you seem to have him working for you at your f smithery. Tell this bucket of bolts to stop enticing my workers. To stop bringing them into little <clears throat> circles and conspiring. I grow tired of it. If this is not dealt with, he won't have a job come tomorrow. Galdor Steelaxe. This raises some memories. This letter is very old, and you're not sure how it found its way here. But you remember that there was some prick dwarf that owned the mines outside of Adwick. And it was because of Tang and some of his actions that they wound up ousting him and getting proper payment and proper working conditions. It's when Tang unionized from, like, years ago. I don't know how it... Huh? What? Nothing, don't worry. Huh? It was a... Don't worry, I'll fill you in later. <clears throat> Alright, last one. Is it? I can't tell. I forgot where my piles were. Tiberius, help. I think there's one more right there, my lord. Okay. <clears throat> the one in front of you has... A noble marking upon it again seems to be something here from Gradia. As you go to open the wax seal, you realize it's not quite wax, it's some other material. You instantly realize that seal was a forgery. Hmm. He's gonna cut around the seal. Uh, Rather than breaking it. 
You're able to do so. It's a fake. As you open it, the <clears throat> writing is familiar. It says, Forgive me, Kyler, for my abrupt message. I have followed your instructions, as you have asked, and investigated the Nerion Bridge and those who are coming across it. It seems to be several companies of mercenaries that have been hired. These companies speak loudly of being led by one of the sons of Palamon. A great deal of gold and silver has been put into these six or seven companies of sellswords that now seem to be resting within the Palamonese border. I will not remain here for much longer. I have identified the company names and I will bring them to you in person soon enough. I wish you good health and I will see you soon. Parbasha. That's not good. Now what that's... That's a new pile. <clears throat> that's a... Uh, pile. You know what, it's going into the bad pile. Mm. I've changed my mind. Ah, I see. Very decisive move. Alright. Um, First one. Whose is this? This one is made of a very strange material. It is sleek to the touch. It is not apartment or paper. Something almost <clears throat> otherworldly. It is hard to explain. It is tied shut with some sort of strange. You stare at it. Seaweed? You're unsure if you should open this one. All right, <clears throat> paperwork done. Go ahead and send Harry up. Well, my lord. You sit at the table surrounded by scrolls, some with meaning, some work, some concern or hope. Your father does this every day. Every single day that comes and goes. And one day you will as well. And sometimes news, like the one that you hold in your hand, isn't the best. <sighs> the study is quiet. You hear the crackling of the candles as they burn the smell of old books and parchment and ink All right. so much work it's like being back in the scribery in Ledford it also almost makes you laugh thinking about Ledford Going back there in the giant hole in Mirandel's scribery <clears throat> ceiling and how he would lose his mind. You think of all the times you spent learning how to read and write with him. <laughs> You're going to miss him. I'm not going to bother you down there. Well, he's safe at least. He doesn't have a knife, maybe hidden in the gauntlet. That was a bit excessive. That was, that was a joke. All right, come on.
You hear footsteps starting to make their way up there. You find yourself adopting the same posture your father does in his chair. Leaned back, tired, awaiting the next slew of work. Lord? Is that fucking Your asshole guest. Harry here yet? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Come on in. My lord, I'm going to attend to some personal business before we head out. Sure. have the opportunity. Hmm. As you come to sit down, Harry, you see this table is covered in scrolls and correspondence and letters. Papers upon papers upon papers. Well, you don't like a neat area? It was neat. <clears throat> I swear we got more every day. How can I help? Well... Remember that whole ordeal I told you about? With the, um... <clears throat> you know... Getting a certain item? Mm-hmm. Coming back to bite you well, in the ass, isn't it? Very much so. Yeah. <clears throat> so... They didn't even ask. Price range, apparently they can only get in bulk. Which, you'll love the price that they said it was going to cost me. About three gold. <laughs> You're being shafted, but go on. <clears throat> yes, and even if I didn't want to accept it, I had to because they already paid for it. Are you in debt again? <laughs> One, I've never been in debt. That was the other farmer that I had to get out of debt. I myself have never been in debt. Right. Because <clears throat> I hate owing people things. Well, now you owe someone three gold, so how are you going to get out of that one? Well, it was either I pay them right then and now, which only something. a mad person would have that amount, or do jobs. Okay. And they had me sign a contract. <sighs> what was it with you and contracts? No. <laughs> Come on. You think I wouldn't have some sort <clears throat> of a plan to get myself out of it? I wrote with my left hand. Did you sign it? Yes. Did they see you sign it? Yeah. <clears throat> you're saying that if they call you up on this, you're going to say that it's not yours by writing with your right and say that someone forged it? If somebody tries... If they try to make me do something illegal, more than likely. Okay. <clears throat> what do you need me for? something that I can't do, and I hate to ask your help on it. Trust me, it's... In my matters, I hate involving other people because... I don't want it to bite them, per se. Rip the bandage off. That's why I didn't ask help with Dwight. I handled it myself. And I try not to get people involved in it. But this one's trickier. A lot trickier. I was pretty much forced into this. 
in a way. I just need to know more about them. Something <clears throat> I can use. Right. You want to gather some intel on them? The agreement... Pretty much. I can do that. I would appreciate it. Um, I need a name and anyone connected to them and where they frequent. <clears throat> they hang out mainly at Cassetto, at the tavern area. A woman with blonde short hair. your right hand this time so I can read it. <clears throat> Her name was Natalia. The uh, Gale mercenary group or trading group. Uh, you're getting in bed with them, huh? Them? I heard rumors that a mercenary group is taking up residency in Corsetto. Some interesting things about them, though. <clears throat> I think they're going to ask you to do some pretty interesting stuff. Like what? I don't know, but I do know that these people are... <clears throat> Selling off a lot of goods, but they don't have any carts or ships, so it makes you wonder how they get these goods there, and things like that. And it's strange for a Merc company to be... declare themselves as merchants like that. Hmm. There's something off about them, for sure. I want to look into them further. Oh, actually... I look into them. This could be an opportunity. <clears throat> yeah. I also had one of my people go missing from Cosetto a couple of days ago. Missing? Hmm. Hmm. Great. I'm already not liking this. <laughs> it's messy. I'll put some whispers out, and if nothing comes back, I'll go there myself. <clears throat> See what I can scrounge up. You know the great part about all of this? And technicalities, but it would be harsh for me. Aaron can just flat out disappear. And she would have nothing. Because I signed it under Aaron, not my name. And she doesn't know who I am. Fair enough. Be messy, though. Well, look, I want to look into these well, people anyway, so if I do come across something, <clears throat> I'll let you know. Do you want me to know when I'm called for? If you can let me know, do. Trying to think a better way than just coming to you in case, you know, <clears throat> eyes. Uh, put like a cup outside your door or something. <laughs> I 
But then how would you know to even look? Is that the <clears throat> I'll frequent it. All right. I'll do that. I can tell somebody I want to speak with you at my, my place. If you so happen to go there and see a cup on the floor. <clears throat> sure. I'll keep my eyes open. If I see you talking to some random people or if you just randomly disappear, I'll assume. <clears throat> but yes, yeah, a little heads up, I suppose. In case you do go missing, we can look for you. Anything else I should know about them? I don't know very much. I've told you pretty much everything I know. <clears throat> they get goods. Somehow. Mm hmm It just magically appears. Well, we don't know how they're getting it in. It doesn't mean that it's just magically appearing. <clears throat> From what we can see, we, they don't own any ships or carts, which makes you wonder. Hmm. And it's also strange that a mercenary company would turn merchantile. I mean, this is fucking Gradia. I mean, you know how much money the mercs get just from odd jobs and such. <clears throat> oh, trust me, I'm aware. Yes. So either they have some sort of underground route, uh, Dingy in the night? Something small ship? <clears throat> Something. I'll keep looking. If it does pop up, I'll let you know. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I might be going out with a woman. That woman. Mm -hmm. The other one I spoke to you about. The robber barons. You know, the... <laughs> <clears throat> right. We're going to try to get down to the murders that have been happening. I'm going to be speaking with a, an assailant's mother. Apparently their son fended off the attacker, so I'm going to see where I can collect there. Well... Best of luck if you find anything out. My father's out of town, which means I do what he does as the marshal, so security's kind of our thing. <clears throat> What's been going on with him? What do you mean? To me, he's been seeming a lot more hostile. <sighs> we spent the last... Especially towards Venora. It's complicated. We spent the last several months trying to make a standing with these redods, with these lords, trying to get a name for ourselves so we can actually do something to help the province and to help our people and to help us. <clears throat> the choices of some people that we are surround ourselves with keep setting us back, and Venora, along with Lady Heidemann, made a choice that put us back to ground zero, essentially. Back to the start. Because of this, we've had to take risks, like leaving the province and trying to recapture the iron mine, which resulted in the death of Marcus. So we're both a little tetchy around the people. There's only so much we can bleed for others, you know. I, non I understand that. The only matter I can say on that matter, though, is that you two didn't get to this position on your own. We all helped. We know this. We all put our life on the line. We know this, but when Arn is held up in an embassy, starving, watching the people around him die. And I'm leading men and watching them die 
fight after fight, being the only reason that the robber baron didn't come through and take this town for himself. And to have the big, hey, the war's over ceremony, and the barons didn't even look at us. It hurts. Kind of makes it feel like it's all for nothing. There's give and take, I understand. How many times I've been yelled at, <clears throat> talked down upon, called a coward because of the things that I did for people that my commander didn't like. Because it was the right thing to do. I understand you guys wanted reputation here, but every day that the war lasted is more men that you don't have for the orcs. It's not... We don't want a reputation. We want to go home. And we can't do that unless we have a standing here. We're not glory hounds. It's understandable. We just... We need these things so that we can do what we need to do in the end. And every time we lose someone that we care about or we bleed for people because it's the right thing to do or we get set back because we're trying to leave this place a better place than we found it <laughs> it's exhausting and there's a point where how much more can you bleed Especially when it gets you nowhere towards closer your goals. <clears throat> Sounds about most of my life. Yeah. Then you understand. Everything alright, Tibbs? Quite fine. My lord just looked around town a little bit, chucking in one certain places. Anything else on fire? He's fine with the guard. <clears throat> Uh, looks like a couple of people got caught in the middle of it, from what I can tell. Um, the Clifford had dropped off a mace from an orc <coughs> that could be smelted down, looked in rough shape, but usable. And then we had to talk to him about paying me back the two silver, <laughs> since he almost got himself arrested. I'll get back to you, you if I can. You guys saved me that time. <laughs> yeah. This is the last time that I do want to say this. If you need me, all you have to do is ask, and I will be there. <sighs> Thanks, Harry. I had a knife in my back boot. Yeah, he, I was gonna search you. He threatened me. What's the, what's the deal with that, Tiberius? You're supposed to fucking protect me. What's that about? Yeah. Very well, my lord. I'll put the man down now. <laughs> no, it's far too late. <laughs> no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, All right, he's in play. No, let him leave. I don't need proof. The lord has stated as much as life was threatened. <laughs> And that's all I need. His word alone is enough. It is law within this domain. Get him out of my house. Give him his shit back. Go. No. Oh. Have you had enough killing? All right, come along. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's never enough in this lands. Yeah. If I could, I would retire on one of these Grodian beaches. <sighs> With all the women around you, I bet. No, I don't need all the women, just one. Oh, that's not what I've heard. Well, too many women make things Flirting complicated. With all the women. <sighs> no, listen. Nah, 
When the ladies come on to you, you just return the gesture and guide. 